Hi everyone, this is Mehul Mehta and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a common question that is asked to me really often is how to build a strong resume and land interviews. And this is like, you know, most of the, you know, my followers or most of the students who reach out to me on your YouTube, LinkedIn, they do ask this question. And I feel like definitely a good question to ask, you know, see, I feel like, you know, in the last six years, you know, I had, I have given like multiple interviews. I have cracked multiple job offers and I'm, I'm saying not just in India, I'm also saying in US and also in US, it's really challenging to crack a job offer. It's not that easy. So one thing that really played out well in my case was my resume. I have a very strong resume and this is not something that I say, okay, oh, you know, I'm the best. No, nothing like that. Of course, a uh, point I'm trying to say is like having a good resume is important. So what does a good resume mean? So let's say, you know, you start from the very beginning, you know, what kind, what is the education that you have pursued? So let's say you did uh, engineering right now the question is of course you have not studied anything related to quant finance in your engineering but you have certainly done subjects which directly or indirectly relates to quant finance subjects such as linear algebra probability theory uh, then we have calculus you know uh, we you might have studied this partial differential equation and all this stuff so whatever numerical methods you know then programming let's say python data science machine learning have the, all this coursework in your resume very important see whenever someone sees your resume they should feel that okay yeah at least this guy has done something related to quant finance so that is what how you need to shape your education section coming to work experience and this is where most of the students do not doesn't they do not do a good job why because i've seen like uh, what students generally do is uh, they'll have this, uh, you know, digital marketing intern, which they did like, let's say um, a year back and they'll have like almost like half, you know, almost this page of the resume already filled with like, oh, I did this digital marketing intern, uh, boosted the impression by this much. No, you're applying to a quant finance role. You should have things related to quant finance, even if you don't have any any internship experience have projects related to quant finance so what you do is just write you know quant uh, let's say quant projects and then in bracket write independent projects and you know just in your work experience just write all those projects that is the best thing you can do uh, to boost your resume now question is oh how to get those projects we have never worked on any quant finance projects and we don't have you know students generally say this neither we have any knowledge related to it i would say go to my youtube channel in the playlist there are a lot of projects that i have built from scratch build those projects you know, it's not that difficult. I'm telling you, you have, see, I, I'll tell you, In when I was pursuing my master's, no one taught us modeling. In US, they will not teach you modeling. They'll teach you the core concepts. Modeling, you have to go learn by yourself, by building models and, you know, working. So I remember I used to work crazy, you know, crazy hours on the models. And then we saw oh, the model is not giving results. And then spent again, a lot of hours building the model from scratch again. So, you know, all these models that you see on my YouTube channel, no one taught me. It's everything. I studied books. I read so many research papers. I built the model. So, okay, you know, back tested the model. So, okay, this model is not giving good results. Tweak the model. So, you know, point I'm trying to say is you need to read a lot. But I'm not even say asking you to do that. I'm just saying go watch my YouTube channel. It has a lot of projects. Now, a lot of people say, but Mehul, it's all scattered. We don't understand how it's linked. So what I can do is I can refer to a Quant Finance Bootcamp in the, in the so I'll add a Quant Finance Bootcamp link. So I feel like that, that Bootcamp has everything covered from basic. You know, it starts with derivatives, then goes into, you know, Greeks, which is like uh, very important. Uh, you know, the boot, I guess the Bootcamp starts with forward futures option, then goes on to Greeks and then goes on to, you know, different mathematical models and then also risk management models. So what I can do is if you really want to have like a, approach you know like step by step approach i can add that boot camp go i guess it's seven thousand rupees i know it's a lot of money but 
if you see con finance education in india is so expensive so expensive people are charging like uh, i was i was seeing this other day like uh, this institute is charging like 50000 even i have seen institute charging 1 lakh 2 lakh rupees and also students are giving it you know i'm so surprised but i understand if, if there's no resource out there how how can a student what a student can do right so i would say start from start from something which is not very heavier on the price side you know start with this uh, 7000 rupees con finance bootcamp that i'm referring to i can add that uh, description you know of the bootcamp in the in this youtube description so see point i'm trying to make here guys is work on a lot of projects and publicize it on linkedin i have seen like even if you have studied a simple thing let's say if you have studied what is derivative you know post that in linkedin you know okay I, today I day one of coin finance today I studied derivatives types of derivatives an example that's it I'm point I'm trying to say is just publish publicize yourself because that will eventually help you in your longer journey so and one more thing uh, which I uh, which I really want to add is in the skill set section make sure you have coin finance related skill set what I generally see is people adding I know data science you know bunch of machine learning algorithms that's good i mean but that is that is a very small subset of quant finance machine learning is a small i would say of course it, not small but it's a subset of quant i mean i mean there's a lot of machine learning algorithm, algorithms that are used in quant finance but if you go for interviews that is not the only thing that they'll see or that is not the key only keyword have keywords like black shows binomial tree monte carlo simulations um greeks you know delta gamma rho theta vega market risk credit risk liquidity risk you know then value at risk which is like very important expected shortfall uh, have keywords like stress testing back testing scenario analysis um, you know these are the important keywords to have in your resume so point I'm trying to say is make sure you have a lot of projects in your resume and build a good one. All the best.